151 miles in today so far. And it's so 151. 151. 151. Yeah. 151. Okay. 151, and it's uh, just coming up to 2:30. So that's that's not bad going, is it? Hello. Now I'm back to the digs. It's another 116. Yeah. So it's 116 more to the <laughs> Yeah. No problem. Yep. Oh, he's come right over to help us. That's what you want to see. You just turn a corner and it just bursts out in front of you, doesn't it? Yep, it does look at that. Nice. Nice. Right, quarter to three, and I think we found a, a seafood inn. Is it over there? Is it down there?
Uh, I think that's it over there, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. This is nice, isn't it? Yeah. Very nice. Liking this. I think we've got about an hour away from uh, where we're going for dinner again tonight. Uh, we're heading down the, up the coast towards Inverary. Uh, not the coast, I think it's a lock. Uh, lock fine, I think. We're heading up there towards Inverary. Um, been a brilliant day. We've had uh, several climates on the journey today. Came down to one side where we'd got this um, the weirdest, sharpest, fine drizzle that you could ever imagine. Um, and then coming back across sort of the other side of the of the headland, it was quite mild and dry and completely different. Uh, so yeah, so we're having tea at the same place we had it last night. Uh, and then we're back down into uh, uh, Sandbank to the digs uh, to close the second day of riding, third day of the tour. Uh, so I really, uh, really enjoyed it again. I've got a little bit wet today, but nothing like as wet as we got yesterday. Nothing like it. No. And, a, and a nice stop off on the way on a couple of occasions. Hello mate. All right. Yeah you. Excellent. Uh you've got to go into that bloody uh Yeah. Oh okay. I've been online for ages, I thought he'll be back in a minute. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, frustrating. It works 50% of the time. Yeah, 6 o'clock at, uh, at the pub. 6 o'clock at the pub. Oh, that's alright, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's all cool. this road the other way this morning was uh, joyful so I'm probably going to be the same going back Yeah, it's been a, another brilliant day. Uh, hopefully, uh, I've got a good video out of it. Uh, probably been two 
uh, two bites, I think they'll probably all be two bites, uh, just to try and keep them down to about half an hour. But, uh, hopefully they'll be uh, entertaining and a good memory for me and Paul when we look back at the times we had. I just love the way these Enfield pulls. It's uh, it definitely is no slouch. It's a bags of torque. I'm tearing along thinking I'm in sixth gear sometimes. I'm in fourth gear. I've got two left. And uh, uh, this is these roads, this type of this type of road, this type of touring, it's absolutely perfect for the Enfield, perfect for that. So uh, can't recommend it enough. It's a whole heap of fun. I love the sound of these scorpion cans as well. Just look at this road here. It could be in Switzerland. Or maybe the Black Forest. Neither of which I've ever been to. But it's still time. Just joyful. Chain up the Kadayan out, and I think it's more the communication network than chain. If the Kadayan out, the fact that it's intermittent, it would be an absolutely cracking bit of kit. Uh, this, this intermittency, the pain, and you know, there's going to be holes in the cellular network in the places we go like this. But uh, you know, in a more urban environment, you've probably got better coverage, better cell site coverage. But uh, in the uh, in the wild, less so. So it's, I mean, it's reliability is uh, not brilliant, but it, it, when it works. It's and I found it gives a chance to hear another voice besides mine on the videos. So, whole range of landscapes today, whole range of weather today, what more could you ask for? And, uh, in about uh, 45 minutes, an hour's time, we're going to have some nice food as well. Everything's good. It's uh, it's sad that tomorrow is the last day we're going to be riding around again. But uh, they, take, they seem to take forever to come to come round the trips. So when you when they come round, they they're almost over in an instant. I know we've got another one in three weeks' time to do the NC500, uh, but you know you just you wait for ages and then they've gone in a flash. So uh, next year we'll, we shall see. I think we're thinking Norfolk next year. Also really with Norfolk. I've never really been to Norfolk properly. Uh, went once for a meeting and back in a, in a day. I didn't really see anything. Uh, and that was to Norwich. Uh, so that's uh, something we're considering. And then with, uh, with the other guys, I'll have to have a sit and see what they fancy. I'm thinking World Atlantic Way again. To try and make it happen next year. So we shall see. We'll be going somewhere. That's the main thing. We'll be going somewhere. Scotland really is a beautiful place. I was chatting to Paul on the way up on uh, on Monday. Because I'm half Welsh. My dad's Welsh. And, uh, unfortunately, he died last week. Um, Age 87, um, so yeah, he's Welsh, I'm half Welsh and uh, I've always uh, 
taken the view that Wales had better um, uh, countryside and mountains and basically everything better than Scotland to be biased and uh, I've had to admit to Paul and now you all of you that are watching this I've had to admit that uh, I think Scotland now does Wales to be honest I think it really does uh, there's lots and lots of similarities and Wales has got some absolutely beautiful places but overall and I think it's probably because of the size as well and just the geography of, of Scotland it's uh, it's stunning I'm, I'm in love with Scotland absolutely in love with Scotland uh, so yeah that's from, a, that's from somebody who's half Welsh is uh, espousing how glorious Scotland is but you've got to speak as you find don't you How to speak as you find. Come here, roads like these, an absence of traffic. They sound absolutely glorious. Yeah, it's got splattered in the face then. Dead ball. getting too close oh, I got a lug wagon ahead a timber wagon spoil our fun got a sweeper here So for tea tonight, I think I'm going to go for steak and ale pie. Yeah, steak and ale pie. I'm not going to have a starter tonight, I'm going to have steak and ale pie, and then I can have a, uh, a sweet, a dessert, or as we say in brewing, a pudding. That's the mussels I had last night. I've never seen a portion of mussels the size of it. That's full before we made course arrived. Uh, uh, yeah, absolute stonking amount of mussels.
see with the uh, with the interceptor. I keep forgetting I've got fifth and sixth gears because he pulled so well. I don't, I don't have any gear indicator. I forget because I forget most things these days. And um, it's uh, I realise I've got to, I've still got more to go. Still, I've still got bags to go even if I kept it in fourth gear and just kept the, the throttle open. Just effortless. For the 650 bike it is no slouch. The Paul's is a 1200, he'd leave me for dead if he wanted to. But for you know, just obey the speed limit and move it around. Absolutely perfect and he's yet uh, uh, when we're fueling up, he's putting in two more litres than I am, so for every um, every eight litres I'm drinking, he's drinking ten for an engine twice the uh, twice the capacity. Doing pretty much the same sort of uh, job, so yeah, quite an economical bike as well to add to all these other positive features. It's been an absolute joy to ride. I've not had much trouble with discomfort with it. The usual ache that I get after about an hour into a ride, 50 miles or so into a ride, my legs start to ache, my hips start to ache, and just getting off and stretching them, sorting out. So, you know, I've not had any... It's perfectly comfortable for the purposes that we're using it for. And the distances we're doing, you know, we're up to 229 miles now. 228, 229 miles. Uh, you know, got a little bit of slight ache as you'd expect. But uh, other than that, no difference to me on the bike to the trace and I. So everything is a positive with this bike. Just having these roads to yourself. Just amazing. Here's the red uh, space hopper I was telling you about. There it is. Little landmark that I've got used to. I was a bit uh, tyres yesterday about what I think of the tyres. Uh, on the wet, a little bit uh, anxious about them, but on dry, which has been today, absolutely no problem with them at all. But not been a problem. Uh, but uh, for me, I'm not, not sure about the handling in the wet. But definitely no issue with them on dry roads. And, uh, I've chucked it about a reasonable amount and they've, uh, they've not given me any cause to concern. Probably will still change them, but I'm just like, not, they're not causing me any, any issues. I won't be rushing to change them, probably wear them out first. So tomorrow, I think we're a bit shorter ride tomorrow, I think we're in the 170s tomorrow. Uh, and hopefully, I'll be able to get some drone footage tomorrow. And uh, some more pictures. Lesson learnt for the uh, for the next tour, I intend to take me, uh, me undergarments with me. And, uh, I have two t-shirts on today, after yesterday I was a bit cold even though the lining's in my jacket. So, not been really uncomfortable cold, but could do with a little bit more, a bit more warmth really. So we are at a higher latitude up here. And I can't believe I forgot to fasten my jacket up properly. It's fastened up, but it's doing good up a bit right? But hey ho, we're nearly at the pub. Not far from here. 
same head did that you'll see. And yeah, we're just signing off. We'll be from back near in Barrary. <laughs> so that's a bit of time travel there. My advice if you're thinking of buying a Royal Enfield Interceptor, stop thinking about it, buy it. I can pretty much guarantee you won't regret it. They uh, they're conversation starters, they're great bikes, they'll do everything you need and more. They're economical. Then just do it, you won't regret it. Uh, and if you do, come back and tell me I'm a nubbin, but I don't think you will. I'm so glad I bought it. To say this is my bike, my playing around bike, my little Sunday ride outs, and something different from the Tracer 9. And I absolutely love it. You've got all the power you need. This is uh, effortless to it, absolutely effortless. Uh, six o'clock arrivals looking uh, looking good. What miles we are? Two thirty five, two thirty four point nine. Oh excuse me. We've done it. It's held out. How about that? We said around six o'clock and we're four minutes early. The Dragons Inn. Lovely place. Highly recommended. If you're in the area, pay to visit. You will not regret it. <laughs> I saw ya. Wheel spinning. How about that for timing? You, you plant that. You plan to be there like that time. Two hundred. 235 miles. And what did you say we were going to do? 220? Yeah. Oh, bloody wonderful. Brilliant day, mate. You should check this up for a living, you know. Touring around the world, around the country. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. You go at the front, I'll go at the back, and we'll guide them round. Well, there you go. We're ready for dinner. See you later.